Now, the hype for this movie was pretty crazy. Like, they had Subway commercials, Kleenex commercials, all that stuff. It's probably as much as Frozen was. But before I get into the actual movie, I wanted to talk about a little short film called Lava. And I don't really have much to say about it other than the story is kind of cliched, I guess. And the faces for the volcanoes are, like, really creepy, like. I don't know if it's me or not, but it's just weird to me. Anyways, the film begins with Joy being Riley's first emotion, and it's when she's born. Now, when I first saw this part, when I saw it, like, showing Riley as a baby, I could have sworn, like, it actually looked like it, like a real baby. I mean, I don't know if it was just me or whatever, but it just looked really good, and I have to... You know, commend Disney on the animation in this movie. It's really good. The facial expressions and everything are just really amazing. Back then, it was a much simpler time for everyone, I guess. Until the rest of the emotions started coming in one by one. I believe first, well, next it was sadness. Then it was, um, maybe fear. And then anger. And then I think disgust. I'm not completely sure. But I know that sadness was the second one to come. Next, Supreme Mistress just goes in to explain all the different islands in Riley's mind, like her hockey island, the family island, and all that other stuff. And then it talks about her core memories, which is pretty much memories that she's had. Then we go back outside of the mind with Riley, and it's pretty much just talking about how she has to move to San Francisco. Because, probably about a job that her dad got. He was on the phone, like, for most of the movie. But yeah, pretty much she has to move, and that's mostly what the story's about, kind of. Like, just a girl trying to cope with life and stuff like that. So once they actually get to San Francisco, they're pretty much thinking, oh, they're going to live in, like, a big, cool house and stuff like that, and it's going to be amazing. But really, it was just a small, sort of squished-in little house, and they just didn't like it. There was, like, dead rats on the floor and all that stuff, and they just thought it was terrible. Now, after this, I believe we get just a little bit of filler, nothing really much. But then, since she's in a new place and stuff like that, she has to go to a new school. And that first day of school was, like, craziness. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but, like, at first she was kind of happy. Like, you know, she had to go up in front of the class and talk and introduce herself. And then, all of a sudden, she just started crying and stuff like that because she... Because she remembered how it was back in Minnesota, you know, she had all her friends and all that stuff. And then, pretty much, she kind of, like, just sat back down and stuff like that. And then everyone was just like, um, okay. And I was like, okay, too, because, like, it was just weird, you know. But the reason why she was crying was because sadness was touching her core memories. And they were happy, like, all of them were happy, but when sadness touches them... They turn sad, and that'll be a pretty important part by the end of this movie. And that's another thing they kind of don't show you, really, or tell you in the trailers, is that um, most of the movie is going to be around sadness and joy. And then all the other emotions are kind of going to be, like, they're still there, obviously, but, like, they're just not focused on as much as those two. 